Mike. Hey, Sean, what's going on, bud? We have a sour beer from Hermit Thrush that's 473 milliliters. They decided to use milliliters on the can, which is... <laughs> I only realized as I was <laughs> saying, hey, Mike, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Well, they're, they're not not pretentious over there. So. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was up in uh, Brattleboro uh, like um, two, two months ago or something. I picked up Hermit Thrush Cassis. Which is a photo aged sour ale with local black currants. And you know, Sean, you know me and currants. I'm a fan. There's like a black hair hanging from this. I don't even know where this came from. Uh, <laughs> probably my wife. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right, let's open this bitch up. Got it. Ooh, that looks pretty. So yeah, it says, we harness local wild cultures, barrels, and time to create balanced oak-aged sours. And then it says that the Vermont black currants, currants from High Goose Farms, Oak Fodor, Brattleboro Wild Mixture. Oh my God, I just got a whiff of it. Yeah. So it is an interesting color, Sean. It's like almost like orangey pink, kind of. I like, was expecting it to be rose. purple, just given the given like the currants in the can. But yep. yeah. Yeah, rose is actually, yeah. It's like a burnt orange rose. Yeah, it's really pretty. Uh, it's a quickly dissipating um, off-white head. Yeah, on camera, the head comes through, but it's a little darker, I think, on both sides on the camera. But it's 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 a little more vibrant and bursting of light in person. Yeah, the the, the beer looks way darker on camera. It looks almost like, yeah. like blood red almost. And, it's really uh, nice when, when the light hits this. Yeah, like right now, I think almost you can see the color almost a little bit better here because of the way yeah. the light's hitting it. But I mean, it's pretty. It is. Looks gorgeous. Want to go nose? Let's do it. That's got right, right. <laughs> lots of funk. Lots of lots of tartness. But there is that like current characteristic that's like coming through to give it that like berryness, that nice little uh, acidity. Yep, I, I'm getting I'm getting obviously big time current notes, but I'm I'm also getting like uh, blackberry and cherry, big time cherry notes. Mm-hmm. Cherry, big time, like cherry cordial. I could see that. But yeah, like the like the way that the, like the fruity, the, it's fruity funk. Double F. Yeah. It's really, really good. Um, yeah. They don't tell you much on the can. Yeah. <laughs> but, no. uh, but photo sour ale, I mean, come on. How, how are you get upset by this? You know, <laughs> it taste. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers, bud. Going over this way. There we go. There we go. Good freaking Lord. Wow. It's crisp. It's clean. It's got a little bit of funk. Not as much as I was thinking it was going to have given the nose. And it's got this like starbursty Skittles kind of like sweetness to it. Like not overly sweet, but like it, 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 with, with like the twang and the acidity, it kind of, everything kind of balances out perfectly. Yeah. I think it's really, uh, outstanding. I think, um, I think for a, uh, beer that is this funky, it's pretty drinkable. I yeah. think it's, it's in the realm of like, sort of like, um, of, of wine, like white wines that are, have that sort of element of, um, yeah. Uh, of not funk, but the, 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 when they're not super sweet, they have that dryness. They have that sort of that dry fruit character. I, it, it comes through like that to me. Um, now, um, there was a reason why I pushed for us to do this one. I have had this. Oh, I've had oh, this before. So I'm, no, no, I'm, sorry, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> no, no, well, I, just the point. Like I wanted to just talk about the beer. And now I'm going to tell you this is why. When I had this, the, as soon as I had a sip, I was like, Holy crap. 
Sean's gonna lose his shit. <laughs> so that's why I, when we talked about doing the beer, I wanted to do this one. That's why I, I picked it remotely as we as we do. Um, I I thought that this was, I thought it was bursting with flavor. I thought it had a, a nice approachable level of funk, although the nose would not <laughs> would not lead you to believe that. Um, no. But I think this this comes off almost like sort of like a dry um, champagne in a way, you know, like. Um, I mean, it's not that, but what? But if you, if you're okay with those types of flavors, I think you'll be okay with something like this. No, I think the champagne, if like a, with a champagne with a little like some type of of like red berry in it and a little bit extra yep. acidity. Yeah, that's this is this is really good. It, what what is it? Five point seven. Five seven. Five seven. Yep. Five seven. This is awesome. Yeah, I, I I'm. I'm okay with some pretty funky, fucked up things with beer. I obviously um, the things we've enjoyed over the years, but with um, a lot of people I know, like oh, I like sours, but what they mean is they want like fruit beers, you know, <laughs> which is I'm not, I'm not judging, but but you give them a sour and they they lose their mind. Like this is not yeah, that's not the beer for them. And I think I think something like this which has all of those things that you're looking for in a sour beer has all of those types of notes, but it's approachable. Yeah. I think this is beer is that. Yeah, no, it's a perfect gateway beer to get out of. It's a perfect gateway sour beer for both the folks that don't like sour beers and the folks that think they like sour beers because they like fermented fruit in a tank. Uh, yep. Yeah, I think this is absolutely just spot on. I think it's it is balanced. It has a nice range of acidity. It has a nice a level of sweetness. Um, but the sweetness is it, it. Just to be fair, when you take a sip, it comes out sweet. It dries up immediately. It is not sweet in the finish. So you know, like yeah. it has no like residual sweetness. The 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 residual fruit flavor you get, but you're not getting that sort of like that sticky sweet at all. But when it, when it touches the tongue, you do get that burst, like Sean said, that sort of burst of like candy, like uh, fruit type flavors. Um, and they are sort of, um, they are sort of like nondescript berry. Like you do get currant, you do get cherry, you do get, but nothing is like, there's nothing that's like, oh, that's all currant, yeah. that's all cherry. You just get like that sort of like, sort of dark, fruity, fruity punch kind of a flavor. And it does uh, get that sort of acidity and um, it dries up immediately. It is is really, really just a perfect sort of um, sipper for a sour. You can have a couple of these, and you won't have, you won't blow your palate away. But you right, won't be 100%. bored with it either. You won't be bored either. No. Sorry, I've been very chatty this video. My bad. No, no. This is like you because you love this beer, and it's so good. It, it is very. I can't really say anything differently. It's I got a little peach there as I was talking, like like white peach almost, but like yep. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, like hundred percent. The crispness, the champagne character of it, it's just like and the fact that this is it's not it's not champagne yeast. It's just their like wild yeast, right? Duke cheese. Yeah, yeast. but I that mouthfeel is very that Sean. That mouthfeel is very much like champagne, right? It has yeah. that, that high high um, carbonation, but like it, it's very prickly. It has it just a very satisfying sip. Yeah, it's in Hermit Thrush. Like, all they do is make sours. So if you go and if you want to go there and visit, just know that they make sours. Um, every time I've ever, I've never had a bad beer by them. Everything's always just freaking amazing. Yeah, that's because I guess they they do one one thing very well. And like, if you do one thing very well, why branch out, man? Like, keep doing what you're you know, doing. You know, it's funny though. You say that, and I'm and I'm not trying to contradict you, but like saying like you do sour beers, you do one thing. It's like saying that you do lagers and only do one thing. You know what I mean? Like they do, they do a lot of things, and yeah, they're all sour. I get that, but like sour beers are there. There are yeah. as many sour beers as there are. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Like it's kind of like I guess the way that like Jack Sabby plays with we only do lagers because they do lager like regular lager. Then they do like we're gonna do you know crazy hop lagers, some fruited stuff. We're gonna do yeah. So like yeah, Baltic like, quarters. All the different ends of the spectrum, yeah. Yeah. So, like, when you say, like, oh, oh well, I only like lagers. Like, all right, ha ha have this Baltic porter. Like, uh, uh, I don't know. I said I like lagers. I said I like lagers. Like, the Baltic porter is a lager, you dummy. And and, that, and that's that's the thing is just when we, when we say, like, 
sour beers. We're talking about an absolute, like, huge spectrum of beer. And they do every bit of that spectrum. I, I Although I've never had one of their – they don't do, like, anything, like, super fruit forward, right? Who? Them uh, or – Hermit? Hermit. Hermit uh, I thought you were talking about Jack's. Um – no, I don't. I'm, not that I've I've seen anything like fruit. I don't think they've done mixed into the smoothie sour or anything like that. Right. Everything I've had from them is like, I want to say traditional. That's the wrong way to put it. But the, but they fall in the realm of like what I would say like yeah. is a, uh, it is in the realm of a traditional sour beer. Like where, um, I'm not have I, I've never had anything from them that is just like this tastes like pectin, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and and there's nothing floating in my glass here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> But they do they do things that are absolutely like huge puckering insanity. Oh yeah, all the way to the realm of of something I said something like this. Which when I obviously when I saw the can, I mean you're talking about food or a sour ale, with local black currants. You, you are speaking my language, you know, one hundred percent. Like I went there to pick up two different beers in particular. Ones we talked about before I went. Mm-hmm. I knew I was going to get other things. It wasn't, but I went for two particular things, and then I went and grabbed a few others because like the can just. Just spoke to me, as you do, and um, this was one of the ones. And uh, of all the ones I bought, by, by the way, because we will review those. This is the only one I have had. It's the other ones I have not had. Oh, yet, okay. So. I was going to be um, like, okay, good. That's good. That's good. Uh, but this. But is I the see why you why. want to review this now. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking great. Yeah, like, but I, I want to review it because one, I love it, but two, I just felt like this would be right way up your alley. You know. Oh yeah, it is. Outstanding. Like, I wish Kerry wasn't at work right now. I guess I can save some of this and it'll be fine in two hours. Yeah, probably. I mean, you might. I mean, the, the carbonation no. does stay pretty good in the in the can. Yeah. Oh, no, it fell down my throat. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> um, honestly, I have one more can. If you if you want, I can bring it to your house and you, you can have you guys can share it. I won't drink it on you if you want. We'll see. We'll see. I'm Let sure know. We, uh, we have plenty of beer, but um. Down in the comments, if you've had Hermit Thrushes, Cassis, you said? Cassis is the way, I mean, Cassis is some bullshit to tell you say it in French, but Cassis is the easiest way to English sort of Englishize it. Englishize it. That makes sense. They're photo-aged sour ale with local black currants. Uh, what do you think of What do you think of Hermit Thrush in general? Have you been there? I haven't been. Mike's been. Um, they, again, they, they make just, just sour beers, but they're all fucking amazing. Get them if you can. They, and they actually distribute pretty if, – if you're in the New England area, I see them relatively regularly. Not all of them. Like I haven't seen this stuff, but um, they're, they're more normal kind of core line. Uh, you can definitely get regularly. But yeah, down in the comments, have a conversation. Nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. If those are things, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, notification bell so you know if I post new videos. And I'm Sean. That's, that's Mike over there. <laughs> and this is Nerdsense. Cheers, dude. I, I stuck. I suck. I need to have like, a, like there's something on the wall. Just- Oh, yeah.